Hello brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome back to another word study on person. Okay. We're in the book of Leviticus. Now remember our point is, is, has person ever been a reference to anything other than someone, man, woman, or child, that has a body, soul, and spirit? And that's the whole point of this study. So, turn to Leviticus 19.15. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. In other words, you're to judge right. Thou shalt not respect the persons of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Now, what's the context of person? Well, it just said there at the very end, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Man, woman, child, okay? Each one has a body, soul, and spirit. So it doesn't matter if that person, man, woman, or child, is poor. doesn't matter if they're mighty. Oh, I'm, I'm important. You know, I'm well known. I'm rich. You know, I'm famous. It doesn't matter. Okay? They're to be judged equally with the poor people that aren't well known that aren't rich, okay, that aren't famous. That's what this is talking about. In this context, we see it's still a reference to someone who has a body, soul, and spirit. Next, let's turn to Leviticus 27, verse 1. 27, verse 1. Two times this person mentioned in this book. We're going to start in verse 1, and we're going to go all the way to 8. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When a man shall make a singular vow, the persons shall be for the Lord by thy estimation. Okay? Now, persons, plural, mean more than one. Now, how do we know the context of person? Let's keep reading. And the estimation, and thy estimation shall be of the male from twenty years old even unto sixty years old, even thy estimation shall be fifty shekels of silver after the shekel of the sanctuary. Right there's the definition of person. Male from twenty years old unto sixty years old. Body, soul, and spirit. The male has a body, soul, and spirit. Let's keep going. Verse 4. And if it be a female, then thy estimation shall be thirty shekels. And if you keep reading on, and if it be from five years old, even under twenty years old, then thy estimation shall be of a male twenty shekels, and for, thy, for the female ten shekels. And if it be from a month old, even unto five years old, then thy estimate shall be of the male five shekels of silver, and for the female thy estimation shall be three shekels of silver. And if from sixty years old and above, if it be a male, then thy estimation shall be fifteen shekels, and for the female, ten shekels. And if he be poor, then thy estimation, that he shall present himself before the priest, and the priest shall value him. According to his ability that vowed, shall the priest value him. So. Then it goes into a beast saying if the man brings a beast as an offering because it went through everybody that has money, now it's going to the poor and then people that have possessions they can give instead of silver. But in context, who's the persons? People. Man, women, and children. Body, soul, and spirit. And the main reason we're going through this is because the Bible defends the Godhead. Jesus Christ is the only person of the Godhead. Remember, four times, and I'll have it in the message below, uh, the video, four times is it mentioned that Jesus is a person. Okay? And that's what this, all these videos are about. It's just so simple, I just don't understand why some people can't get it. But we're going through this together because it's one thing for us just to say, well, person always means body, soul, and spirit, and then up, look up what person's always a reference to. It's always a reference to somebody who has a body, soul, and spirit, and we're going through the Bible together. So, two times is it mentioned in the book of Leviticus. Um, 
We will get to the book of Numbers soon, and I will see you guys in the next video.